I'm gonna guess it's the five of hearts. Can you show us? <gasps> we have a live performance of the Sai Stebbins stack. And it was such an impromptu performance that we had an intrusion during the performance, and but we decided to use the footage anyways because it was funny. Pretty random deck, agreed? <laughs> yep. Okay. So I want you to do something impossible. I want you to put these cards behind your back, okay. like this. While they're behind your back, I want you to cut the cards. Just cut them like that. When they're behind? Yeah, when they're behind your back. Mm -hmm. After you cut them once or twice, just grab the top card mm -hmm. and give me the rest of the deck. That's okay. all you're going to do. Don't even look at the top card though. Okay. Okay? So put those behind your back. Cut them once. Mm -hmm. Cut them twice. Mm -hmm. Grab the top card. Give me the rest. Don't even look at that. Okay, now, there's no possible way I can know what that card is. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's the Five of Hearts. Can you show us? <gasps> Okay, the size step and stack. You see it starts with the ace of clubs here. Now, this order is called chaste order. Chaste is an acronym for clubs. Heart, spades, diamond. Chaste, C-H-S-D. We'll have that in the bottom there. So, this whole deck is as you can see black red black red black red black red that's one rhythm the second one is sorry that's one pattern the second pattern is clubs hearts spades diamonds clubs hearts spades diamond club hearts spades diamond throughout the whole deck and it starts with a one plus three is four, plus three is 10, plus three, sorry, plus three is seven, plus three is 10, plus three is 13, which is the king. Then it goes back to zero, plus three is three, plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, which is a queen, plus three is the two because of the king, ace, then two, which is three, plus two is five, plus three is eight, plus three is jack, plus three is ace, plus three is four. I could do that all day. What we're doing is every card is separated by three. Okay? And it's all in chased order. Because of that, you can cut this deck all day long and you're always going to know what the top card is. Okay? And I'm going to show you. Now, I left this like that. So if you want to take a picture of the stack, you can take a picture and copy it yourself or just pause the video and copy it yourself. So here's what we did during the performance. I went up to the young lady and I said, first we have a random set of cards. Okay, it looks as random as the day is long. See that? Can't get much more random than that. So after she saw that it was a random deck, I flipped the cards over and I said, here's what I'd like you to do. And I did this behind my back. I said, I want you to cut the cards like so, behind your back. And when you do that, yeah. I want you to grab the top card and then hand me the rest of the deck. Then I said, but don't look at the top card. I said, that way you won't even know what it is. So when she gave me the deck, all I did was glance at the bottom card, which is a six of diamonds. Now I know because it chased order after diamonds comes clubs because it's clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. The D is last, but it starts with C again. But I know it's a clubs. So I know in the size seven stack, 
everything is separated by three. So I know the next card is going to be a nine of clubs. That means the card that she took off had to be the nine of clubs. You see that way that works? I'll show you again. We'll cut the deck as random as you want. There's no way I can know what the cards are going to be. Okay. I flip them over. It's a four of clubs. Once again, chased order. Okay. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. After clubs is hearts. So, four plus three is seven. The next card is seven of hearts. So this card is a seven of hearts. So once you get the idea for chased order in your head, you'll be able to do it even quicker than that. And that's the trick. So I hope you guys enjoyed it.